I've talked about the point of the Clone Wars before in Q&As and stuff, but I've never just made a video on it, and I think it deserves one. This is all stuff I think is presented in the prequel films, but even more so in the Clone Wars series. I want to do this video because a question I get a lot is, why did the galaxy at large turn on the Jedi so quickly? And I think the answer to that question is what makes Palpatine's plan so brilliant. First and foremost, and most obviously, the Clone Wars were all about Palpatine grasping more and more power. Littlefinger put it well in Game of Thrones, but chaos is a ladder. Palpatine is, in many ways, a much more successful Littlefinger. They're both willing to kill and destroy to grasp power. They're willing to rule over ashes, so long as they're doing the ruling. And I guess they're both ultimately killed by protégés in moves they never saw coming. But yeah, the blockade of Naboo and the Phantom Menace and the Clone Wars, they were just chaos he created so he could climb the ladder. And once he was at the top, he was able to take more and more until he was not only a dictator, but a celebrated one. That's something George Lucas has said before, that autocracies generally aren't taken by force, they're given away and applauded. This is how liberty dies, with thunderous applause. So that was the chief purpose of the Clone Wars, but Palpatine also needed to rid himself of his enemies, the Jedi. So the conflict wound up having this dual purpose. The galaxy is thrust into war, but the Republic has no army. The citizens are terrified the Separatists will wipe them out, but oh, wait a minute, there are all these clones ready to go? Well, thank goodness for sifo -Dyas. The Republic accepts the clones without actually looking into it very much, because what choice do they have? And what choice do the Jedi have but to lead the clones when they're asked? In The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon warns the Queen that he can protect her, but not fight a war for her. In Attack of the Clones, Mace Windu says the Jedi are keepers of the peace, but not soldiers. Their role was never never to be generals, but they are thrust into that position because the Republic needs them. They're in a no-win situation right then and there. They can either betray their ideals and join the war, or they can sit the war out and reinforce the idea that they are too out of touch with normal people to care about them. So they join the Clone Wars. They become generals. Over the course of three years, we see Mace Windu change from a man who does not want to be a soldier to someone willing to execute the Chancellor with no trial because he deems him too dangerous to be left alive. In Attack of the Clones, Mace tells Padme assassination isn't in Dooku's character because he was once a Jedi. And then in the book Dark Disciple, the Jedi Council agrees they need to assassinate Dooku. They're willing to win at any cost. Palpatine warns Anakin that the Jedi will try to take control, and he's not wrong. They discuss taking over the Senate if the Chancellor doesn't set aside his emergency powers. I want to believe that they were as good as their word, that they would only do so to ensure a peaceful transition, and then they would step aside as well, but I don't know that I fully do believe that's true, and that's the point. The movies, to a degree, but especially the Clone Wars series, shows us over and over again that the Jedi have lost their way. They betrayed one of their guiding principles, and once they do that, it's easier for them to betray more and more of them. More importantly, it's easier for the citizens of the galaxy to believe that they would as well. Palpatine is certainly embellishing when he talks of the Jedi's assassination attempt and coup, but he isn't completely lying. And people buy the story because they have also witnessed the downfall fall of the Jedi. They're not guardians of peace and justice, they're warriors, and they have been for years now. We see in the final season of the show that the citizens even blame the Jedi for the Clone Wars continuing. They're sick of the fighting, and when it's finally over, they're happy to view them as the enemy. They're completely fine celebrating the fact that they're gone and that their fearless leader survived an assassination. Palpatine forced the Jedi into a lose-lose situation where either choice they made would backfire. The Jedi chose violence. Again, I don't think there was a right choice for them in that situation, but I do think they made that decision out of fear. Fear of how Dooku, a former Jedi, could hurt them. Fear that their ability to use the Force was diminishing. Maybe fear of a galaxy learning that they didn't need them if they did sit the war out. But Palpatine manipulated the galaxy and the Jedi into a position where making that choice was not only easy, but felt like the right thing to do. It led to their downfall and the destruction of their legacy. And that's what I think the point of the Clone Wars was. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.